What's up, the cunt? How are you doing, man? Uh, good morning? What's it at over there? Super early in the fucking morning, I bet. What's it like, uh, 8 a.m., I bet, on a Monday? What up, bros? How you doing? Let me know if the music's too fucking loud, bro. I can always just lower it. I just want to have something in the background. 10 a.m., that's that's not bad. Damn. If only you lived, you really did live in the future, you could give me the fucking Powerball numbers, bro. This Marvel shit's about to start here in a bit. We'll see what the twi what the Twitter gives us. Let me refresh my feed here. Two bongs deep. Ah, oh, yeah, that's badass. Hall H is up next. Let's see what monstrosities Kevin Feige and Marvel give us. Just a bunch of fucking logos is all they're going to show. Oh, wow. One of the inspirations for the Penguin was Harvey Weinstein. That's fucking hilarious. Dude, Gotham was good for like the first four seasons and then it just fucking, I don't know. It went a little haywire on its own there. But it was so good. I don't know if you ever watched Gotham when it was on Fox. It was pretty good. I liked it. I think some of the actors were really good. Penguin and the Riddler were really good fucking actors. I think I'm the only person in the world fucking suck Ryan Reynolds art year. Sick Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> It's the only Marvel movie they fucking have this year. We're supposed to be getting Craven the Cunt Hunter from fucking Sony later on. And that's gonna be trash. I need a new grinder. This fucking shit gets stuck. Yeah. Now nah, I understood what you meant. I hate autocorrect. I always send the wrong text messages to people. Always. I don't like to text. I just press the little talk button and I just say whatever and it says it out for me. But sometimes I guess because I'm fucking, you know, I don't talk like this. Uh, it fucking spells out the wrong words for me and shit. can't stand his fucking voice anymore gives me douche chills <laughs> he does have a very high pitch fucking voice i will say that all right this music's a little there slower a little bit <laughs> deadpool and wolverine was fucking dope though i ain't gonna lie You missed our review yesterday. Uh, we went over House of the Dragon too. Now oh, that's too low. I want to be able to hear the music too. Test, test. All right. Cheers, dude. Oh, Super Saiyan Joku is here. Cheers, motherfucker. I'm gonna play y'all's intro. Fuck it. I don't give a shit. Here, uh, fucking the cunt was here first. Uh, let me play it uh, on top of the music and shit. Let's see how it sounds all fucked up. Uh, louder. You 
can feel it That's while for you, smoking. Kai. You can feel it while drinking. You can feel it getting woke as fuck. So get your slop ready, because the cunt is here. I hit it for you, Joku. I want to have the world, the world's most comfortable pair of ultra soft. Uh I'm rolling a jizzy. Oh, dude, I saw the fucking trailer for Time Bandits. I got pissed because they didn't cast any midgets. What the fuck? Bunch of assholes. They casted fucking normal sized people. And the Time Bandits all supposed to be a bunch of little midgets and a little boy. They really screwed little people out of jobs on that one. I think I'd be more pissed. It's bad enough they screwed him out of the Snow White. Eight fifty-seven. I'm gonna start refreshing these bastards. And now I'm seated for the Marvel. All right, he's sitting down already. This motherfucker's not posting shit. All right, let's look at one take. These motherfuckers seem to know what's up. Fuck you, multiverse. One take. What the fuck is Kainberg doing there at Hall H? No midgets in the time bandits, only annoying white bitch from friends. Uh wait. Isn't it Tilda Swin Swindon and Time Bandits? I thought it was Tilda Swindon. I I didn't know. What do you mean the blonde chick? Which one from Friends? Now you got me fucking wondering which chick. Phoebe? Is that what you're talking about? I thought it was Tilda Swinton. <laughs> Look at these pussies. They paid like $500 for a fucking ticket. I'm jealous as fuck. Lisa Kudrow, yeah, Phoebe. She's it. She that I I don't know why I thought it was um Tilda Swindon or Silden Swilden, whatever the fuck that androgynous girl is names is. I thought that was her. Dude, all those hoes were hot, man. Phoebe, Monica, and Rachel. Although I could tell you, Rachel is the most stuck up one. In real life, too. I wonder what Feige's gonna announce. I mean, what the fuck are they gonna show? They're gonna show bullshit for Agatha? Nobody gives a fuck about that stupid show. I like lo-fi shit, man. I like chilling to this type of stuff. You want me to turn it up?
Yeah, I hope they don't show any. I mean, that. What else can they fucking show? They haven't really worked on anything. They're probably gonna show some more of Captain America. All right, it's just starting. They said. Uh, where can I put the chat? This is the leaker, my time to shine here. She says that Simon Kimberg is not involved in anything. Good. He pretty much fucked all the X-Men and Fantastic Four movies. When he was at Fox. Come on. Three minutes in. You know, they used to, and I mean a very long time ago, they used to just live stream this on fucking YouTube and then fucking. They started being dicks because they figured they could make more money if they forced people to fucking buy tickets to this damn thing. I remember I used to watch it on YouTube. No lie. I wonder if there's gonna cram more Miss Marvel down people's throats they killed immediately brought back for the X-Men fucking hacks. Oh, Starscream is here, you motherfucker! Cheers! Oh, man. Y'all are gonna make me start drinking. I don't know if I should go grab a tequila shots or not. I've been doing good, man. I, I literally worked out all day long. Uh, look at that. Nothing but lean muscle all over me, man. I'm trying to get ripped. I give it in two months, I'm going to be fucking shredded. That's my goal. I feel good right now. My body's kind of... a little. Last night, I, I, I had a lot of trouble sleeping last night. I probably slept like two or three hours. Because I kept on tossing and turning. That I didn't like. Fog machines are being dispersed for Marvel. Shots. Yeah, yeah. I'll grab, I'll, grab, I'll grab the tequila bottle and the thing. I'll have it here. And whenever they show something new, I'll take a shot. We'll do that. I'll be right back. Hey, Joku, check it out, brother. I'm gonna use the shit you gave me. The shot glass you gave me fucking last Christmas. You gifted me. Thanks. Thanks a lot for that. That's Frieza. Yo, boy!
I was trying to find some uncopywritten music and this is the best I could do, right? <laughs> oh boy. Lights are down, panels beginning. This movie, this music's fucking, I love it, man. It's just so chill. I gotta load it, but I ain't gonna drink it until, until they show something. Damn. I'm gonna buy gold next time, because I feel like, like, I like, I don't, I'm not drunk sometimes. I don't know, maybe I'm immune to it already or something. I feel like I don't get drunk. You think the gold one's stronger, y'all, than the silver? I thought the silver was stronger, but maybe I'm getting immune to it. I'm almost done with it. That a boy, yes. An Avengers versus X Men Instagram account has surfaced. Oh. Nah, but that could be from anyone. These fucking dumbasses are getting excited over no reason. I think it's gonna happen though. But it's gonna be Fox X Men. Uh. Fox X Men versus. Uh, what's it called? Uh, Avengers from the MCU. What do you mean, Wolverine? Joku, what do you mean? Like that I'm getting ripped. <laughs> nah. And you know what? I can't wait to see it on digital, man, because I watched it again. I mean, I, I just I was really hyped because I watched it like four times on Friday. Uh well th before Friday, and I was super excited. And I watched it again today, and I was like thinking that maybe the VFX are not that good. Especially towards the end when Wolverine puts on the mask. I think it looks fucking cheap. But I have to wait till it comes out on digital. But even I was thinking like once it comes out on digital, they can also fix that. For the digital release, they can fix it. But I don't know. For you all that like, went to go see it on theater. If you have you already seen Wolverine and Deadpool, if you've seen it on theater, tell me if the visual effects because I think if the visual effects are not a, not that good. Like Wolverine, I have to drink a lot. Yeah, probably, man. Oh yeah, the whole bottle. Um. Ah, uh, I feel that the visual effects there are. That's the biggest problem that I think most of these movies have nowadays. It's because they're just trying to release them like so fast and shit on time, and they don't give the guys enough time to work on shit. All right, my time to shine. You're fucking not there. Multiverse. Yeah, let's... Here, you seem to be late behind. So let's get Mo Murphy's. Murphy's Multiverse. Get it? No, what create group? I don't want to send him a message. I'm trying to find him. Here it is. Kevin Feige has landed. Kevin Feige has landed, this pussy saying. Like a prayer opens the night. Oh, that's an awesome fucking costume, y'all. Oh shit, I can't play it. I can't play the music, we'll get banned. That's a fucking awesome costume, bros. Ah, I love those costumes when people do that shit. I saw one where it's like an alien costume 
and but it's for a little kid and and, <laughs> and the little kid it's like uh you only see the face and the body of the little kid is fake but it's for a little kid to wear so that their head could be right there where the body's fake and they're controlling the body of the tall alien and so that it's almost like the alien is snatching the kid away and then the kids are like help help it's fucking hilarious i saw that costume that's a funny fucking costume what's this oh is that deadpool or spider-man no that is deadpool cowboy deadpool Damn, there's probably like tons of hot cosplaying girls there tonight. Oh, here they come. Is that Hugh? No, that's uh, that's Peter. That's Rob Bob Dan Delaney, or I don't know what the fuck his name was. Or Dan Rob Delaney or something. Yeah, Rob Delaney. All right, they showed something. Cheers to Hall H, uh, Marvel Studios Comic Con. We're not there because we're poor, but we're here and we're kicking it. Cheers, y'all. <laughs> Woody Deadpool, you're right. Super Saiyan Joku, I don't know why I didn't fucking see it four posts all right brave new world is kicking off hall h captain america the shitty movie no one cares about okay there they are You know, there used to be this uh, program called Tweet Deck, and it would refresh all these for me automatically instead of me having to refresh them one by one. Uh, but the Elon, Elon Musk bought it, and now you have to pay for it. It's fucking bu bullshit. Ha, <laughs> funny joke. I don't have a movie, but you're not 5'11", Anthony Mackie told him. Mackie's 5'11"? Shit, he's pretty tall, man. I'm short as fuck. I'm 5'6". My girl's 5'10". Aw, oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like the comic accurate Wolverine. You know what I'm saying? See what these pussies are posting anything new feige says he's only talking about three movies ah so he's only gonna talk about three movies so captain america what's next down the line i mean i know captain america Fantastic Four! He's gonna... No, they can't talk about that. They barely started filming. They wouldn't have anything ready. What is he gonna talk about? Captain America is the only thing that, that has been filming. Fuck. Let me see if I can find the Marvel Studios movie schedule. Sorry. Uh, so Thunderbolts, yes. Okay, so he'll talk about Thunderbolts, Captain America, which you're talking about now. And the only other one has to be Fantastic Four. Yeah. I got a feeling he was going to talk about three movies, but it has to be like the final announcement He'll fucking, he'll fucking do, uh, it would be so cool. I don't know if he would, but, oh, sorry about that. 
Mackie's coming out. Um, just announced Avengers vs. X-Men, the title for Avengers 5. That's what we fucking need. My God. Giancarlo Descoposito's character is named the Sidewinder. Tim Blake Nelson can't say much about his role. The Sidewinder, so it wasn't John Washington Bridge like that big titty bitch said. Fucking lied to everyone. Nah, it's Secret Wars is still two years away. They're not. They have. They're, that's the thing is they're not filming anything. The only thing they've been filming is Thunderbolts and Captain America, and maybe a day or two ago they started filming Fantastic Four. So they don't have shit for Fantastic Four. It's been 16 years. Tell us about him now. I can't say much. No spoilers. I want them to bring me back. He's the part of the Serpent Society. The leaker was wrong, that fucking big titty bitch. Let me save this fucking weird ass picture. I don't know nothing about this fucking character. So he's gonna have superpowers? Seth Volker, Sidewinder. What? Oh, a scene? They're showing them a scene from the movie? <laughs> Let me tag that bitch, because she lied to us. Check it out, check it out. Wait. At... At... My time to shine. You lied, Bert. Birch. <laughs> I'm gonna get blocked and I'm not gonna get any more spoilers because I'm talking shit here. Well, Murphy stopped fucking updating fucking pussies. <laughs> Somebody liked my reply. You lied, bitch. <laughs> Adamantian will be making their debut in Captain America 4, just like we fucking said. A clip from Captain America shows Thunderbolt Ross directly talking about Celestial coming out of the Earth. Oh, nice. <laughs> you lied, Birch.
I I thought it was gonna be striker that the one that Giancarlo was gonna be playing, but I guess not. It's whatever the fuck this character is. This doesn't look nothing like him. Where's his horn sticking out of his head? I don't see no fucking horn sticking out of his head. That's some bullshit. At least he's the right color, right? He's the right color. They got that right. You fucking dumbasses. And update us. Give us something new. We're not there. Warren Thompson, this fucking pussy. Somebody like her shit. Yeah, somebody liked her shit. <laughs> her trolling. Wow, Harrison Ford turns into the Red Hulk in front of the White House while giving a speech. Fucking Joe Biden. Turning to the devil. So they have new footage. Let's check if there's anything, uh... Over here. Nobody has a video of it. That'd be too much to ask. Pussies would be too scared to record and get kicked out. I mean, I would too if I paid fucking five fucking hundred, you know, five hundred dollars for a fucking ticket or however much it cost. Fucking Harrison Ford there. They're badass tunes. I like this lo-fi shit. Especially when you're stoned. I think if, if I ever get back into it, this is the type of music I want to make. Just fucking badass shit, like, just chill. I was making a lot of hard, heavy shit and crazy stuff, but this is just badass, man. 
This is more how I feel nowadays. All right, time to refresh this ass. Did we get another? Haha, <laughs> we got another like from our trolling. I'm proud to become a member of the Marvel Universe. I've been watching fantastic actors have a good time. Rob Schneider, shut the fuck up, Rob Schneider. I'm gonna stop following you. We're fucking looking at Marvel right now. You dumbass. Two fucking years old, man. He moves around pretty damn good. Fucking old man. I seen some 82 year olds that are getting being wheeled along and shit. This motherfucker's walking up there on his own. He looks fucking healthier than Joe Biden. I think Joe Biden's younger than him. Thunderbolts. See, I told you Thunderbolts. So Thunderbolts and then Fantastic Four. They're gonna bring out big ass Florence Pugh. Little big ass Florence Pugh motherfuckers. And you know we're gonna drink to that ass. Ah. Oh. You know that I don't know why she likes to show her titties when she got none. She just walks around showing her nipples everywhere. And it's like, man, we wanna see your ass and your coochie. <laughs> That's what we wanna see. Why don't you wear some see-through underwear and some see-through pants? We're done with the see-through shirts. I'm done with them. We need a new trend. See-through fucking pants. And no panties. <laughs> That's what we fucking, we fucking need. 82 and flexing. Yeah, yeah. 82 years old. Uh, cheers to everybody here uh, on a Saturday evening. Uh, Monday morning for the cunt in Australia. Cheers, motherfuckers. For Thunderbolts, Florence Pugh and her big ass. Actually, I don't know if I should take it. I'm gonna wait till she comes out. <laughs> I'm getting scared of taking the second shot already. What the fuck? David Harbour coming out as the red fucking guardian. Oh, well, look at this fucking asshole. That's cool that he comes. You know what? I respect the actors that come out in costumes. Because most of them hate wearing that fucking shit. That's fucking cool, man. That he did. That he done. That he done that. Loki did it in the first. That's how he got popular. He came out in the first Comic Con, and he came out fucking as Loki, and everybody loved him because he had the costume on. People appreciate that kind of shit. They're uncomfortable as fuck. They say. Warren Thompson, you son of a bitch, quit posting shit that's already over. We're on Captain America. I mean, yeah, not Captain America, fucking Thunderbolts now. Where's Florence Pugh? That's all I'm waiting for, fellas, and we'll take this shot.
She better be there. I'm gonna get pissed off if Florence doesn't show up. She's actually the main the main character in the fucking movie. Everyone else is sidelined. They give her center stage. Nothing yet. This one's different. It's like gold and and red. The other one was golden white. I mean red and white. This one's r red and gold or yellow. I guess it's more yellow for the Soviet Union. I don't know. Or Russia or whatever the fuck. Who's there? Who's there? Oh, is that her? I think that's her. <laughs> Let's see. Anybody have a better picture than these tiny? Fuck it. She's on stage, folks. She's right there. There she is. This. Oh, my God. I'm getting these commercials. Fuck you. All right. I don't have YouTube red. Okay. Anyways, this is for Florence. The beautiful, very sexy. Big ass Florence Pugh. It's for you. Cheers. <sighs> Woo. I feel like a fucking dragon every time I take a shot. Ah. The joy of watching them together is that they don't play well together. Florence Pugh on, on the Thunderbolts. I think Thunderbolts would be a better movie than... Well, I don't know. They just have such a bad track record right now. I really can't fucking say that I look forward to anything. Even the trailers make can make something look amazing and then, and then it's a pile of ass. He says that Florence Pugh is the standout of the Thunderbolts. Yeah, I told you, they made her the main character in that fucking movie. She's the lead, and Sebastian Stan is just fucking pushed aside. <clears throat> this little girl's sexy as fuck, I'll just tell you that. Say Florence Pugh. Oh. You know, I will tell you one thing, these little, I mean, they're little, I wonder how much they pay for this. I mean, I, obviously that they're all day long, so I guess it's, it's, it, 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 it's worth it, but they don't seem to last that long, like 15 minutes. They give them a new trailer that they're, we're probably going to see in a week or two or, or, or in a month. They'll probably show it. Somebody, somebody recorded it. It'll be on. I'll try to find it tomorrow or tonight. Nah, it won't be up tonight. If somebody recorded it, they won't upload it until tomorrow. Because they'll still be there at Comic-Con tonight. And, uh... See if I can download those and maybe show them to you on fucking Friday. Just when I think my nerdy life can't get more complete, I hear Harrison Ford say adamantium. Jack Quaid. The people, Superman. Shut the fuck up, kid. His girlfriend's hot, though. He's going out. He's going out with that chick from the boys. The Indian lady. She's so fine. <sighs> I'm burping up that tequila. I hate burping it up. It's disgusting.
This one has to be. They're probably showing them the trailer right now. For the Thunderbolts. Wyatt Russell, US agent. Everyone's gonna fucking love me. Oh, shut the fuck up. We love your dad and your mom. You're okay, buddy. You're okay. Playing Bucky, it's like having nine lives. How many are left? I think Bucky's gonna... Bucky's gonna die in this fucking movie. I promise you. Fucking, uh... The Sentry's gonna kill him. For him saying that right there... That, that just tells me that he's gonna die also. He's almost hinting at it. Like, I've been... I've been playing this character forever already. Like, kill me. He's gonna die in this one. They're gonna show them a trailer here soon. I'm surprised we haven't seen a trailer for this fucking movie. This probably... This movie... They probably have filmed more for this movie than... than... No. Because they were... They, I don't know if they finished. I mean, it's been a while since we got a fucking leak from it. Hang on. I also got the wrestling in the background. Got a bunch of sweaty men in the background beating the shit out of each other. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> this beat's kind of getting annoying. <coughs> See, they're showing them the trailer. Just launched st Stizzy Cannabis Delivery. Oh, what is this? I wonder if he delivers to over here where I am. I've tried so many websites. <laughs> and when, when I put my state, <laughs> they tell me no. <laughs> I was like, one of these motherfuckers... Have has to have a bug in the system one of these days and it's gonna and it's gonna allow it <laughs> and they're gonna ship it over here by mistake <laughs> see this kind of beat annoys me because it's just like really like jarring Joku, do you make beats? Or do you just rap? I always just say, uh, I just kind of make music because. I could start with a beat and then it's not a beat. It just turns into something different. Yeah. I like make songs. It's like, you know, sometimes if I really get into it, I'll try to make a bridge and a chorus and all this stuff to it. Uh, yeah. But it's been a while, man. I mostly just do this crap for y'all. Really, during the week, that's all I'm doing. I'm working on stuff for the for the fucking broadcast. Um, I don't make beats like I used to. I mean, every once in a while, if I have some free time, I'll get on and I fuck. I have some files there. Start some the beginnings of something, shit like that. But you know, I, I think I'm just focused on this now, right now. But I have some stuff there. 
you more freestyle. Yeah. I'm not good at freestyle. I like to write. I, I haven't written stuff. Either. I used to fucking keep journals and write stuff every day. I haven't done that in a while. Here we go. Some new stuff here. Lewis Pullman is on stage. However, his character, all but confirmed to be Sentry, is just being called Bob for the time being. Mm. Lame. This fucking guy is going to transform into that. Is it going to be all CGI or what? That's so fucking crazy. I mean, he's a little better. He's a better candidate than, than the guy, the Asian dude they had before him. But man, I'm telling you. They fucked up, bro. Because Henry Cavill was the perfect guy to play the Sentry. And I don't know why the fuck they didn't get Henry Cavill. Yeah, uh, Cunt used to be in a band, play guitar. No Cunt wants to jam anymore and do art now. Yeah, yeah. We all, yeah, man. I mean, life gets to us. But yeah, I play guitar too, Cunt. I'm going to show you my, my baby. Well, my favorite one. I have her hang on the hung on the wall. This is my babe. Uh it's a cherry cherry wood finish. And I have a skulls with rubies on the eyes of the skulls. Oh, uh, it's Ibanas. It's an axe. Uh, they don't. They don't make these anymore. Uh, yeah. I used to play in bands too. Fucking jam all the time. I used to just. You know what I used to love to do? Because when I lived in Austin, there's so many musicians in Austin. That fucking woke ass city. Uh, Fantastic Four is next. Oh, yeah. Um, I used to just get on, on, on fucking Craigslist and just put up a thing. Hey, anybody want to jam? And at this time, a uh, bass player, a drummer, and another, you know, whatever the fuck. And people would show up and just fuck around. And I said, you know, you never know. So all of a sudden, we start a band or something. But I do that every other weekend and just meet different people, man, and just randomly jam. A scene in Avengers Towers with Val was featured in Thunderbolt's trailer. Oh, Elaine. Let me put this back up. She, she's hung on my wall because I like to stare at her. Ugh. I have another one, an older guitar. Uh, I have two other ones, but that's my favorite one. The first trailer for Thunderbolts, Yelena visits the Red Guardian's apartment, calls him dad. She says that she has found that the only reason for her to live is killing others. Oh, shit. Ghost has a new costume, badass. It's probably darker. All Thunderbolts are... Individually assigned to the same job, but it's a setup. Oh. Damn, I hope someone recorded that trailer and leaks it later. I'll fucking download it, guys, and I'll show it to you on Fridays. I, they're not going to show them anything for Fantastic Four. If anything, another picture or something, because they just started filming like a day or two ago. Retro future of the 60s. It begins filming on Tuesday. Okay, so I guess them being on... They just went to go visit the sets, those pictures. So Val bought the Avengers Towers. It belongs to the government.
interesting shit happening with Fantastic Four. To clarify, many said the footage of the Thunderbolts seems to show the team talking to Valentina in the Avengers Towers. Oh, so she does own it. Or the government owns it. Matt Shankman says they went to the desert to find the best type of rock to make the thing out of. What? A sizzle reel. What does that mean? A sizzle reel. They don't. They haven't even started filming. Desire to stay true to the comic books as possible. A bedazzled B Rick. <laughs> BC Rick. That'd be funny. I always wanted a yellow one with a happy face on it, a smiley face, an axe. I said, if I, ever, if I ever became famous, I'd tell Ibanez to make me a custom-made one. I wanted a rainbow on one of them when I was, you know, when I was younger. I don't think having a rainbow nowadays is a good thing, motherfuckers. Fucking shit up left and right. Oh, pre-shot material. Pedro Pascal has an old school accent as Reed Richards teaching a science class. Old school accent? What the fuck does that mean, you fucking white son of a bitch? A retro future film. It's in another universe. It's kind of like, what's it? What's that fucking shit called? Uh, Fallout. Where in that universe, everything looks retro, but it's the future, like modern days. Fantastic Four is titled First Steps. What? Heather Pascal will have an old school accent. What does that mean? Fucking idiots. These white people. The robots have gotten pretty good at what they do. Is this real or is this just something someone put? It's an old school. Oh, fuck you, stupid commercials. Let me fucking mute it, because it's not letting me skip it. Fuck you! I'm not paying for YouTube Red. An old Cadillac that looks straight out of the Jess Jetsons. The Future Foundation. July 25th of next year. So basically a year from now. It's a long fucking time to wait for shit, bro. They really, COVID really fucked the world up, man. We used to get these movies out with good special effects. I don't know what's going on now. <coughs> What does that mean, uh, old school accent? I hate these nerds that don't know how to explain how to express themselves properly, fucking idiots. Ah, oh, I went to college. We'll fucking learn how to talk, you dumbass. No one understands what you're fucking posting online. This is a cool Deadpool and Wolverine image. I'm not gonna lie. That's fucking dope as fuck. <laughs> Early footage of Galactus showed his face peering through a building, very clearly a giant cosmic entity. Oh, oh shit.
Galactus. Feige, you better tease Avengers vs. X-Men, you pussy. Oh, look at that sexy... What's her name? That girl? Oh, she just came out in the Napoleon movie. I forgot her name. <sighs> this motherfucker's fin, fin about to end soon. Feige better tease the logo of Avengers vs. X-Men, or at least the title of the next Avengers film. Because this is bullshit. We're the only Brits in the cast, so we're going to make everyone go to the pub since we're filming in London. Vanessa Kirby on how her and Joseph Quinn are building sibling bonds. Yeah, they're drunks. That's badass. That's badass. You're filming a movie, earning millions of dollars, and then the people you're filming a movie are like fucking alcoholics. Let's go to the bar after we film. Shit, that's fucking badass. Matt Shackman, uh, Pedro Pascal says that he's known Matt Shackman, the director, for 25 years, and he's had the same talent manager, and he became his roommate in 1999, but he saw a place and said, nah. He saw his place and said, no. Oh, Vanessa Kirby is pretty sexy, man. You know what's crazy is all these people seem desirable because we see them on fucking television and shit and stuff like that. But if they weren't famous and they're just walking down the street, we wouldn't give two fucks about them. I'll just tell you like that. We're all going to work very hard. Uh, feeling a family to this film. I don't think I've laughed so much in rehearsal period. Here's Harrison Ford. I am Thaddeus, and I am delighted, and I am proud to become a member of the Marvel Universe. I have been watching fantastic actors, some of which are here tonight, <laughs> have a really good time. <laughs> 
working in the Marvel Universe, and I wanted a piece of the action. Yeah. And I'm very proud to be uh, in this film. I think it has turned out to be fantastic. Um, I am the Rooster Brothers have just been announced to direct the next Avengers films, just like the rumors we said on Friday were. And look at this fucking Fantastic Four car. That's the way it's going to look, and they're flying around. Dude, their universe is going to be sick, bro. Their universe is going to be sick. It's going to be futuristic like, like the Jetsons. That's so fucking badass. Oh, my God. This is kind of cool. The Fantastic Four will be in both Avengers movies. Here's more of the car. Name the Avengers movies. They they have to end it with the title of the Avengers movies. The next one. Someone liked our, our trolling. Oh, there it goes. Let's hear what people are saying. Oh, it's the Marvel theme. Eh. That's a Fantastic Four car. That's fucking funny. That thing must be like a balloon or something. <laughs> it can't weigh that much if they're dragging it on top of people and shit. Oh, wow. It's kind of dope, man. They have to announce it. Look, they're up there. These fucking... Two motherfuckers. The Rooster Brothers return. I'm telling you, man, that they're the ones that had the MCU all figured out. Trust us on this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think at the very least, the next two Avengers movies will be really good because these motherfuckers are back on. On the steering wheel. They should have been in charge of the MCU period. Fuck Kevin Feige. These guys were the guys to have put. They would have made every movie. And every character realistic. Like the way the Winter Soldier. That movie didn't even feel like a superhero movie. That movie felt like a regular fucking espionage action movie. Like a regular movie. A thriller. That's what all the movies should have been like. Like it felt like real life. Not like fantasy. Uh, nothing new. I want them to show the logo. They're gonna fucking show it, man. I know they are. Give us a uh, Avengers Secret War. We don't care. Give us the logo for the next one. Secret Wars is still two years away. They're waiting. There, that's the next one that's coming up. It's the next one that's coming up. Let it be Avengers vs. X-Men. Give us the next logo.
Oh, the next one is Secret Wars. What? How do you how are you gonna jump right into it? No, 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 no. The next one's not Secret Wars. That's in 2027. That is two years away. Okay, okay, cool. Twenty twenty seven, which is the one next year? What's the title of it? It has to be Avengers vs. X Men if they're not doing Kang anymore. called doomsday what the mother fuck not even avengers versus x-men motherfuckers holy shit doomsday wow who the fuck is gonna be dr doom the first time I've been excited for Marvel in a fucking long time. Holy shit. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Doomsday. Fuck you, Kang the Woman Beater. You've been replaced, you sucker. Wow. Robert Downey Jr. as Dr. Doom. RDJ as Dr. Doom. Oh my god. You know what that means is that fucking Rob RDJ is in the Fantastic Four. At the very least, at the end of credit scene or something, RDJ is Dr. Doom. Oh my god. They finally did it. They finally done something right. Here he is. Here he fucking is, bro. Oh. They're doing Secret Wars perfect. Doctor Doom is going to be God Doom in the void. Oh, this is so fucking bad. Somebody please show us a video of him talking. He has the microphone for fuck's sakes. Victor Von Doom, bro. Imagine when fucking little Peter Parker sees him for the first time. Mr. Stark. I am not this Stark fellow you talk about, boy. He better act completely di- I know he is. He's gonna act completely different. This is gonna be so good. He's gonna be from the Fantastic Four's reality, bros. Oh my god. This is so <laughs> fucking crazy. I'm freaking out. Wow. Wow. Here it is. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That is 
so badass. That that is so fucking badass, bros. Wow. This was a damn good Comic Con. This was worth it for this reveal, bro. He didn't say anything though. Or maybe nobody has posted it yet. Here, is this? No, that's the reaction. Oh my God. Fucking Tony Stark is back. Money, you're right, Super Saiyan Joku. God damn it. This deserves a fucking shot, motherfuckers. Oh, yeah, let's do this for Tony fucking Stark, Victor Von Doom. Oh, RDJ, you are a legend, my friend, and you're actually going to save the MCU, at least for two movies, at least for two movies. <laughs> He's going to save it. Cheers, RDJ. Oh, my God. This is so fucking badass. He didn't say anything. I don't think he said anything, did he? I, it, oh my god. I think, uh... Our DJ is going to fucking come out in a po- He's gonna come out po Well, he has to come out in a Fantastic Four movie. Plain and simple. He has to. They have to introduce him there. Whatever happens at the end of the Fantastic Four leads into them, the incursions. Like I'm telling you, the incursions are going to be the Fox Universe, Deadpool's world, the MCU, and the Fantastic Four, all of them crashing into each other. And while they're all fighting, I think it's going to be the Avengers are fighting the X-Men. And while they're fighting, Fantastic Four is trying to figure out how to fix things. And Doctor Doom figures it out. And that's how he becomes God. He lets the universes get destroyed. Oh my god, Sanchez, you're here, you son of a bitch. Let me hit it for you. Where are you, Andrew Sanchez? Uh, fuck. I, I, you haven't been here in a while, so I don't remember what button to put. I know I have you here somewhere. God damn it, I'm so fucking drunk. <laughs> Where are you? Cancelled. Here you are. We don't test any of our products on animals. We use Filipino children. Tear Sanchez. You motherfucker. What did you miss? You miss fucking Robert Downey Jr. coming back as Dr. Doom, bro. Oh, I am gonna troll this bitch. Look. I don't know. Wrong. <laughs> About Jian. So you are probably It's so t hard to type with long nails
<laughs> Where's the fucking sticking my tongue out? <laughs> you dumb bitch. Oh my god, this is so cool. I am genuinely fucking excited that Robert Downey Jr. is Doctor Doom. And and you know what? We that was remember we were saying that was the rumors and and then I was saying this is perfect because young Peter Parker is going to have to fight his fucking hero who and it's not even him. He just happens to look like him. And it's the bad guy. That's from another universe. Ah, oh, They must have paid him really fucking good. He's going to get residuals. Like what he got in the endgame. Um, I think he made 80 million plus commission. <laughs> this, is, this guy has been the richest motherfucker in this whole fucking franchise. Um... Scarlet Yost got to that point and that's when they started killing the, the getting rid of them because they're all like nah They're all gonna start doing this. They got rid of Chris Evans and they got rid of all the original ones pretty much uh, Because because they they fucking asking for too much money But they're desperate now because they know they they needed something they needed something to save this fucking franchise and Unfortunately Star Wars doesn't have that anymore Star Wars is dead. They completely ruined it. They just saved it for two movies. And if the Russos... I, I feel like the Russos should be put in charge. And they can continue actually be making it... Remaking it successful again. I, Feige's no good anymore. To be honest with you. Um, but this is good, man. This is, this is actually going to follow the comic books now. Fuck that Kang the Conqueror, the woman beater. He's gone. No more. This is actually going to follow the fucking comic books. Thank God. Doctor Doom, the incursions are going to happen. All the heroes are going to fight from different universes. The X-Men from the Fox universe are going to fight the Avengers from the fucking MCU. And the Fantastic Four, which their universe is probably going to be crashing into along with them. They're going to try to be figuring out how to solve this problem. In the comic books, Reed Richards builds a, a, a spaceship. And he says this spaceship will actually be able to fly outside of reality. So when everything gets destroyed, who, 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 us inside the spaceship will be able to survive. And then whatever, we don't know what, because he, he said we don't know what happens afterwards. But whatever happens afterwards, we'll get to figure figure stuff out. And... But they, they built the ship at the last minute and they're only able to transport a few people into the ship. I think Miles Morales is one of them and a few fucking people they were able to get. Cheers, Anthony Thimmons, you motherfucker. Thank you for being here. <laughs> and for everybody who showed up on Saturday night to fucking kick it. Live. Cheers, motherfuckers. Uh, yeah, and so... uh. What happens is Doctor Doom and Doctor Strange, um, they go out. Okay, so do you guys want to know? Do you guys want me to be a nerd and tell you the incursions and tell you what's going to happen? Or at least the story they're, they're supposed to be following. Um, I can tell you guys, I could be a nerd right now. I'm, I'm really drunk with these three shots of tequila that I just took. Uh, and I can keep going and, and, and chattering. If you guys are interested, I'll keep going and tell you guys. Our DJ is Iron Man, is, is Dr. Doom, for those of you motherfuckers who didn't know it. He's back as Dr. Doom. It's fucking insane. Uh, okay, so the incursions happen. I'll, I'll start kind of a, a little bit in the back. Uh, but the incursions happen because uh, the multiverse exists, right? And, 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 and eventually, the universes start crashing into each other. Two worlds will crash. Realities crash into each other. And uh, the, I forget who the first person to discover this. I, for, I think it's the, the Illuminati, which is Charles, Reed Richards, uh, Doctor Strange. Um, fuck, I forget who the other two guys are. Iron Man, uh, Iron Man and T'Challa. And they figure, they find this out, that this is happening. 
and Reed Richards and Doctor Strange figure out that the the only solution that they're able to figure out is the it's it's one or the other. Either both universes get destroyed, or one destroys the other one and the other one survives. And so what happens is that the Illuminati go out and they start destroying other fucking universes to say without letting anyone know. They start destroying other universes and shit. Um, but it doesn't stop. It just keeps coming. Like, even though they destroy another universe, another one starts cr coming to crash into our, and it never stops. It never stops. And they're all like, "This is crazy. We're we're destroying countless of lives, and and it, it's not stopping. It's, it's it's gonna it's inevitable." And so they finally tell the rest of the heroes, and the rest of the heroes get super mad at the Illuminati. The 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 five smartest guys in the whole universe. They get mad at them, at Charles, and they fucking excommunicate them. And um, and so the the fucking Captain America and the Avengers decide we're gonna let it happen, or whatever the fuck happens happens. The universe that's gonna crash into the com the, the the main MCU uh, comic book universe six one six. I don't know why Kevin Feige decided to name the MCU six one six, and it's confusing because the comic books is six one six. Anyways, it's another universe called the Ultimate Universe. That's where Miles Morales is from. It's a different universe than the normal one. And that's the ones crashing into the comic book universe. And so then it comes to the point where because none of them want to die, they start fighting. And it's crazy. It's like heroes from that universe are fighting the heroes from this universe. And it's crazy. So Dr. Doom, or not Dr. Doom, Namor. Namor gets Thanos. The Black Order and all the bad guys. May Namor gets the strongest bad guys and says, Hey, the heroes don't want to do it. I'm good. We're going to do it. And we're going to go out there and destroy all the universes so that ours can survive. So they go off on their own, doing their own shit. But Doctor Doom and Doctor Strange go out trying to find a solution. And Doctor Strange and Doctor Doom find out that there's a Molecule Man, which is this one guy that doesn't have a variant. He is the same person, the exact same person in every universe. There's nothing different about him. He is the same. And they find out that this guy was actually created by the Beyonders, which are these crazy aliens that create every reality and that are causing the incursions. And so he finds out that the Molecule Man is basically like the 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 what what they just introduced in the Wolverine and low and low and uh, a Deadpool movie. It's the anchor. He's the anchor to all the universes that this guy is somebody who doesn't change and he's the same in all the universes for a reason because the fucking beyond just created him as a bomb and that's how they destroy universes whenever they want they set this guy off and the universe gets destroyed uh, and so Dr. Doom figures this out and so once he, he captures the molecule man and he told Doctor Strange, I'm going to destroy the Beyonders and take their power. And the only way to fix everything, because this is a plan set in motion. The realities are crashing. We can't stop it. The only way to fix it is that if I take the Beyonders powers and I become God. And then I'll recreate everything and put everyone back in there. And Doctor Strange is all like, fuck, you're right. That's the only solution. And I'm not power. Doctor Strange says I'm not powerful enough to use it. Doctor Doom is a magician, also a sorcerer, just like Doctor Strange. But he's also fucking smart, just like Reed Richards. So he's like he's basically Doctor Strange and Tony Stark put together. That's fucking uh, Doctor Doom. And so Doctor Doom, uh, Doctor Strange agrees with him. He says, "You're right. You do it." So Doctor Strange fucking kills the Beyonders, takes their powers. Everything gets destroyed. Reed Richards and the Fantastic Four who are on this little fucking ship that they created to fucking step outside of reality. They managed to just grab whatever heroes were around them. It's like a teleporting device, kind of like Spock. Beam them up. Whoever was around the vicinity of the ship, they beamed up into the ship. And so they managed to save a couple of heroes. So Doctor Doom takes the power of the Beyonders everything the multiverse gets de deleted destroyed everyone dies so dr doom is now god so dr doom creates battle world a brand new world what they're gonna do in the marvel universe which i'm telling you it's already told to us in the wolverine and deadpool movie when everything is destroyed the same way 
The only thing that's going to be left is the Void. The Void is Battle World. In the comics, Doctor Doom creates Battle World. It's a world in his image because he's God now. He has the power of God, so he puts everyone back in the world. Everyone who died, he puts them back in there. Uh, and 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 it's a world that he created. And there's sections to it, like sinister rules over here, over America, and shit like that. Everything's divided in sections, and he puts bad guys in charge. And it's a world created by Doom. Sue Storm is his wife. Reed Richards and Sue Storm's children are his children. Uh, and, you know, everything's crazy. There's crazy stuff in there. There's a great big wall of China or some shit like that. But the wall is actually Ben Grimm, the thing. He's just there. That's what Doom does. Doom creates all this, this shit. Um... The ship that Reed Richards built outside of reality that holds a handful of heroes. They're the only ones that were not recreated in the world. And when they see this new world, they land there. And they're all like, what is this place? So when they land there, there's like the Thor Corp. Instead of the Deadpool Corp, it's the Thor Corp. A bunch of fucking Thors, different variants. And that's the police of the world. And they they answer to doom. <laughs> it's crazy. And so then the heroes have to live like sneak around in this new world that Drew created to try to find out how to stop him and shit sue storm doesn't remember reed like you know this is a new world that that doom created you know but it's crazy because at the end of it at the end of it some crazy stuff happens uh <laughs> they are overcomplicating things it is it is crazy but this is how they're going to do a reset because this is how the comic books did a reset because it got too complicated there were multiple realities in a multiverse and they needed a reset because nobody was buying comic books anymore so that's why they did secret wars this new secret wars at the end of it what ends up happening is um miles morales is sent on a mission there's a big fight and there's a lot of shit that happens, but I'm not going to get into it. There's even a point where T'Challa has the Infinity Gauntlet and he brings all the Marvel zombies to attack fucking Doom's armies. It's crazy. Doom kills Thanos also. Like, it's just cra crazy stuff happens. Because uh, Doom is God, basically. And he's all white. He's God Doom. Instead of green, he's all white. He still has a silver mask and shit, but he's all white. Uh, and it's going to be Tony Stark. That's what's going to be crazy. It's going to be Tony Stark doing this. So we're going to have Spider-Man trying to fight his idol. In the comic book, they finally find the Molecule Man. And it's Miles Morales who finds him and, and Reed Richards. And they figure out that that's the source of Doom's power. Because he captured the Molecule Man and found out how the Beyonders worked. And so... The Molecule Man, because he's been there forever, he tells Miles Morales, I'm really hungry. And because Miles Morales is silly, Spider-Man is silly, Miles Morales is all like, hey, I have a cheeseburger here. Uh, it's kind of a few weeks old. Because at the very beginning of the comic book arc, if you're a nerd like me who was collecting these, and I do have it. At the very beginning of the comic book arc, before any of this starts, the, the chaos... Miles Morales stops for a cheeseburger and he's about to eat it, but then crazy stuff and he's like, oh fuck. And he's like, I'll save it for later. And he puts it in his pocket. This whole time that cheeseburger has been in his pocket. <laughs> and he says, it's really old. And the, be and the fucking molecule man says, I don't care, give it to me. And the molecule man eats it and he goes, oh, that was delicious. And so then Doom gets there to the room where they're at and Doom gets pissed. And the Molecule Man's all like, hang on, Dr. Doom, because Dr. Doom's going to kill them because he's God. And the Molecule Man takes away his powers and says, hang on, because the Molecule Man is really the one who controls everything. And he says, "This everything's interesting what's happening here. So I'm going to let you and Reed Richards fight it off with no powers, no God powers. And the winner gets to fucking be God. <laughs> and so Reed and, and Doom fight. Reed wins, obviously. And he recreates reality into one timeline. No more multiverse. Just one timeline where everyone, including Miles Morales, now exists with Spider-Man. That's why. Because before, before this, Spider-Man and Miles Morales were from different realities. Right now in the comic books and for the past maybe five, seven years, they've existed in the same one because of this. Because Reed made one reality where everyone's together now. A new world. Um, 
Now they're changing it. They're going back to the multiverse. Right now, currently in the comic books, they're going back to the multiverse. They're fucking it up again. But that's what they fix to bring readers back. We're, don't be confused. Everyone's in the same one, and they exist now. And that's what they're going to do to fix the MCU, because they know it's a fucking mess right now. And they don't have the X-Men or the Fantastic Four. So at the end of Secret Wars, Reed Richards or... I think it's going to be Franklin Richards, the little boy. He's going to rewrite everything to one timeline. And we are going to be recasted. We're going to have Iron Man and Captain America, white Captain America back. And, and they're going to be recasted with new actors. That's what I think. Iron Man's going to be back with new actor. We're going to have the X-Men with new actors. No more Fox Universe. And, and everything's going to be... From the start, with all the heroes, new stories, it's basically a reset. And that's what this is all going to lead up to. So by 2030, there'll be a reset with new actors. They're going to keep the younger actors, the lesser paid. They're going to keep them. But everyone else will be recast and it'll be brand new. We'll have X-Men finally, officially in the MCU. And they won't be the Fox ones. And the Fantastic Four will now live in this reality. Along with Tony Stark. And hopefully T'Challa will be back. And we won't have to get this fucking girl Black Panther. Yeah, that's basically what a lot of people are saying. But I'm telling you, the Rooster Brothers are going to make two really good movies. And at least... Uh, Timothy Nazi is here! This motherfucker! There is one teaching that is very much forgotten. I hit it for this guy. You are not to be a person that is oversensitive. He's got a long intro. We're gonna kick it to this. And fuck it, I'll take another shot for you. A half a shot. I'm already really buzzed. And I work tomorrow. In other words, don't be easily offended. Ah, Timothy Nazi, that's for you, motherfucker. God. I really nerded out there and I fucking, uh. <laughs> I went off there. But. I wanted to tell you what the happens in the comic books so you kind of know what plan they kind of have out for us. What they have planned out for the MCU. Uh, this could be good. Bro, he was literally on fucking stage. <laughs> wait, 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 what did that bitch say? New post notifications. Oh, okay. This arc right here, I have that arc. So in the comic books, uh, it pisses me off because in the comic books, the first time Tony Stark died, I have those comic books, by the way. When the first time the Hulk died, Hawkeye killed him, but he came back. Pissed me off. Tony Stark had died also, but it turned out they only put him in a coma. Uh, Captain Marvel, the lesbian, everybody thought she had killed him. It actually, she put him in a coma. Um, but anyways, for a while, he, everybody thought he was dead. Um, and Dr. Doom took the mantle of Iron Man. That's such a badass fucking comic book. When that happened, I have that. So it's no longer Kang Dynasty. It's Avengers Doomsday, guys. I'm excited. I hope you guys are all excited. Thank you all for being here and shit. Uh, I'll keep kicking it with you all motherfuckers. I don't give a fuck. I'm fucking <laughs> I'm fucking buzzed and drunk uh, Apparently not everybody everyone has Everyone knows about Sark Pussies. Ah, oh, 
that's probably one of the greatest things they've announced. Screw the three she Miggles, Kathleen Kennedy, Bob Iger, and Kevin Feige. I, I agree. But that's what I'm telling you is that the reason why... Oh, what happened with the fucking music? It just, it ended. I'll put it again. Oh, shit. Yeah, it ended. Uh, that's what I'm telling you is the reason for the fucking... Um, the reason why they, this all happened was because they've been failing. I think the only reason that the... Because if you really go back and think about it, Jan Fa, John Favreau was 100% Iron Man. And Iron Man 2. And nothing to do with, with the other movies. They started to, to kind of try to connect them, but they didn't... They hadn't thought about the Infinity... Uh, Thanos and the Infinity Gauntlet. They really didn't. And I'll tell you why. It's because the fucking staff of Loki was blue. And then the way they did it is that they cracked it open and inside the blue stone was the yellow, the yellow one. And that was all like, that came out of nowhere. That 100% came out of fucking nowhere. So I don't think they had a plan. Not only that, but the red stone in, in fucking the, for Thor was liquid. And that was introduced before they even had the idea or introduced the Infinity Gauntlet. It was a liquid thing that was in Thor. And so then that's why I said it didn't make sense because they didn't have the plan. Feige didn't have the plan. When they hired the Russo brothers, the Russo brothers made the plan. They said, hey, we can lead up to the Avengers and we can lead up to fucking Thanos and, and, and tie it in like this. They're probably the ones, they're actually the, I, I, I honestly believe they're the reasons why the MCU was successful before that. Kevin Feige is just a head. He's, he's Kathleen Kennedy. He's the guy who, who manages. He doesn't actually create. He manages and shit. And I'm telling you, I, I think these, these were the nerds that made it popular and made it good because they knew what they were doing and with the stories and making it cohesive. And because these last five years have been total failures for Marvel and Disney, they brought RDJ and these two motherfuckers back. Because that's the only way they're going to make money again. Uh, that's, that's just what I think. Feige's, I don't think, he's not good, man. I think he's just, he's just a manager. He manages the shit. Make sure that production is going on and shit and a half. But he's not the fucking guy that the, you know the the brains it, it's someone else and it, and it used to be these guys and uh the people that he put in charge for the fucking past five years have littered the mcu with fucking lesbianism homosexuality and fucking agendas that have ruined their franchises and their movies frankly these guys, they know how to make a good film. And I think that this is probably the wisest decision they've gone. I, I hope they asked for a lot of money. I hope they did. If I was these three motherfuckers right here, I would have asked for a shitload of money. If you want me to come back and save your fucking company, you're going to give me everything. If I need to take a piss and I'm near your house, I better have an extra key to stop by, open the door, and take a piss and a shit in your fucking room, in your fucking bedroom, oh, a bathroom and shit and i better be allowed i don't give a fuck if it's thanksgiving i'm gonna show up and take a shit there and then leave if i'm in the neighborhood that's the kind of shit i would be demanding if i was dead motherfuckers that's all i'm saying uh and and i got a feeling that's that's that's, that's probably what's what's happening here i'm just you know what i'm just excited that it's gonna follow the very closely the comic books the Winter Soldier was the best. Like I said, that's the best fucking movie. It feels... It doesn't feel like a superhero movie at all. It feels very grounded. It feels like an action, espionage, a thriller. A thriller. You forget that there's superheroes in that fucking movie. You really do. If you start watching, you start forgetting. And there's the shit going on. There's like a Mission Impossible type of shit. Um, and then, again, Infinity War and Endgame were great. These guys took it over. You know, they didn't do any of the other movies, but they gave them the outline. Look, this is where we're headed. You better make sure your movies head into that. You know what I'm saying? It did feel like a spy movie. It was really good. That's uh, my favorite fucking... It's up there. Infinity War is my favorite fucking MCU. Well, no, I'm not going to lie. Spider-Man No Way Home is my favorite MCU movie. 
Then Infinity War. Infinity War is way better in Endgame. Then the Winter Soldier. Those are my top three MCU movies. And then the Iron Man movie. The first one. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's not my shit and, and oh, fuck not. Wow. One Marvel Studios film who was removed. What are you talking about? Multiverse of Murphy. Oh, are you reading this down here? Blade is no longer on track to release in 20. Dude, Mahershala Ali is going to quit, bro. If they're going to tell him, hey, uh, we're not going to shoot the movie till after Secret Wars because, you know, everything's going to change. So we have to wait until after the change. <laughs> This motherfucker's gonna quit on them, bro. Oh, I, I need to save this fucking article. Um, how do I save this? Bookmark this bitch. Bookmark. Damn. I didn't think about that. That that was gonna be affected. Civil War was really good, and the Rooster Brothers did it too. The Rooster Brothers did it too. And it was crazy because they brought in two characters. They introduced two characters without fucking origins. And, and it was perfect. Spider-Man and fucking uh, uh, Black Panther. Without any origins. They introduced them in a movie and it was perfect. No one even gave a shit that we didn't know. We didn't see their origins. No one gave a shit. That's what I'm telling you. These two nerds. They're the real fucking money behind behind it. I hey, fuck this guy in his rebel moon and shit. Oh my god. Anthony Mackey to Robert Downey Jr. being uh, Dr. Doom. I better kill him first. I get first dibs to knock him off. Jared Leto. Yeah, everybody thought it was going to be Jared Leto. No, I don't know. I didn't. Oh, man. That is so good. That... Doctor Doom is Tony Stark variant, bro. Oh, this is just the smartest fucking thing. I, oh man, they must have paid him like a hundred million dollars, bro. Or they straight up told him, you get a free pass. You get a free pass. Straight up, the Illuminati told him, you get a free pass. You can fuck up. You get one fuck up in life. If you murder someone, if you rape a girl, if you fuck up really bad, no one's gonna know about it. The media, you'll get it covered up. No one will know about it. You get one free fuck up from here on. They probably gave them that, the Illuminati motherfuckers. Oh my god. Zemo was badass. I love Zemo. Oh my god. Uh, I gotta piss really bad. I'll still chill for you with you guys until I finish uh, finish this joint. Uh, if you guys wait, let me go fucking piss real quick. Listen to some music. Cheers, Chimit Timmons, Joku, the cunt. Because you guys are the, probably the only ones still out there, and I appreciate you guys chilling on a Saturday night. Oh my god. Hugo, Hugo Weaving was the Red Skull. He was good, but then he started trash talking fucking. Uh. Fucking Marvel, and so that's why they didn't have him back.
David Harbour coming out. Let's hear what he says. Fucking funny, bro. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's funny. The moron bolts. <laughs> I can tell you the Captain America movie is gonna be a failure with so many reshoots. I don't think it's gonna be any good. I think Thunderbolts will be mid. The only good thing that's coming out of this is going to be Fantastic Four. And the next two Avengers movies, obviously. The question is, what's coming in between Doomsday and fucking uh, Secret Wars? That's the real question. They're literally one year apart, and they're two years away from, from right now. And the only movies coming out next year are, they have to be Fantastic Four and Thunderbolts. Yeah, but those, I get the Harkness, and, and that, that's all like, those are shows that are going to lead nowhere. I'm excited for the Fantastic Four because it's going to be set in, like I said, in another universe where it's like a, a Jetsons future where the 60s modern day, like it's, you know, that's a reality we should have been in. But the government has been suppressing zero point energy and fucking, uh, you know, free energy for the people. So we're stuck here fucking still sucking on oil and electricity. Fuck you, Joe Biden. Trump and all you fucking elitists to hide the fucking we're about a hundred years behind in the actual technology that the government has that's all I'm gonna say I fucking burned the leaker though she said Robert Downey Jr. in the MCU as Doctor Doom and he'll be the main villain for Doomsday and Secret Wars and I said I don't know you were wrong about Giancarlo Esposito's character you're probably wrong about this too <laughs> you pussy beautiful RDJ they must have paid him a hundred million dollars hundred million dollars for it He's worth every penny. That's all I'm going to say. Black Panther news. This bitch walks away. <laughs> because there was no Black Panther news. No Black... Nobody wants to see Letitia Wright be the female Black Panther bitch. <laughs> She's leaving in the car. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fucking funny meme, dude. <laughs> he definitely got a hundred mil for those next two, next three movies. When you think about it, Fantastic Four, Avengers Doomsday, and Avengers Secret Wars. It's going to be its own timeline. And the only heroes that exist in that universe is the Fantastic Four and their villains. 
So Galactus, Silver Surfer, Doctor Doom, Mole Man, shit like that. And it's going to be strictly Fantastic Four. Uh, they're not going to be part of the MCU or part of the fucking Fox universe. It's separate. The thing that, that that's, I still rattles my head is the universe. If you saw the Marvels, which I'm sure, pretty sure all you motherfuckers didn't. Uh, I only that we did it because of the channel. Me and he who should not be named. We saw that bullshit. Uh, we downloaded it. Pirate it. Uh, but if you saw that movie at the end, they, they are in the X-Men universe. And, 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 and I argued whether that was the Fox universe or not. I mean, I think they're going to say it is. I think that's the easiest thing they're going to say is that it is. And the beast that we saw is the same beast. But obviously, beast keeps on mutating. And that's why he looks more like that nowadays than he did back in those movies. But it's going to be the Deadpool universe. That's the Fox universe. The Fox universe is going to collide with the MCU and they're also going to collide at the same time with the Fantastic Four universe. That's the incursions. Doctor Doom will then make a new universe for Secret Wars. Secret Wars. I don't think it'll be a new universe. I think they, they everything gets destroyed. And they all fall into the void. The void is Battle World. I think that's what's going to happen. If you see uh, Wolverine versus Deadpool, you'll know what I'm talking about. Hey, this was actually uh, a pretty good Comic Con, man. I'm not gonna lie because. It's been a while since the since it since their reveals have been this big. They haven't been shit in the past, and this has been good. I had a feeling I, I, I there was gonna be something big at the end. Oh my god. This is this is a special live stream. And I'll keep these up. These are not be deleted. Uh, whenever this kind of stuff happens James Gunn wasn't part of Comic Con this year because he's better than everybody He thinks he's better than all of you and better than me and this channel And that's why he gave us a fucking copyright two copyright strikes in one week that piss of shit And so he said I'm too good for all you nerds I ain't going to Comic Con and I ain't showing you shit And he didn't they unveiled a new DC uh, DC Studios logo that I'll show you on Friday, but he didn't show nothing. He skipped Comic Con, so I got a feeling this dumbass is gonna do the same thing they did last year with The Rock, where The Rock had a huge presentation about, oh, here are all the future movies, and I'm gonna be in charge, and <laughs> that didn't work out for that pussy. The same thing James Gunn's gonna do probably in August or September. I got a feeling in August or September, James Gunn's going to come out and do some DC presentation and show Superman trailer. He will show it in September or August, something like that. DC presentation and by himself, pussy. And they're going to show a Superman trailer. They're going to show the creature commandos and John Cena in season two and some ass and probably announce who they casted as Batman. Which I think we'll talk about it next Friday, but I think it's going to be Glenn Powell is going to be fucking Batman. That motherfucker's hot right now in Hollywood. And I think they're going to get him to be fucking uh, to be it, to be Batman for the DC. Who's this fucking Arab guy? I don't even follow him. Oh, I'm following him. I guess I am following him. God damn it. I don't mean to follow terrorists. My fault. The Fantastic Four car. Flying and shit. It looks pretty dope. It's pretty, pretty dope. Happy Saturday night to y'all motherfuckers. I hope y'all having a good one and shit. 
It's a AEW battle, uh, battle of the belts, by the way. I have it on in the background. Dustin Reynolds is in the getting his ass beat right now. The Von Ericks are fighting. It's shit. Cheers, y'all motherfuckers. Super Saiyan Joku, Anthony Timmons, thank you for being here tonight. I don't know who else is out there. Thank you, motherfucker. Saturday night. The greatest announcements. The greatest announcement in the world. Robert Downey Jr. will be Dr. Doom in the next Avengers Doomsday movie. Fuck you, Kang the Conqueror. This is what you get for beating a white woman. You're fired. You're cut. You're erased from history. Dr. Doom's movie now. And Dr. Doom will create Battle World for Secret Wars. Cheers! Happy Saturday! Joku, motherfuckers. You guys are badass. Stay hydrated when you're drinking. Damn, I thought it was gonna take me two more weeks. We're gonna finish this by next weekend if we keep go going with this motherfucker. Uh, yeah. Hey, you guys are the shit. That's all I'm saying. Cheers to you, motherfuckers. Thank you for being here, man. I appreciate you guys. I was fucking bummed out that we got two strikes this fucking week and shit. So, uh, it's kind of a good thing that shit didn't go down like... I thought we were going to get banned for the fucking Deadpool. We still could, you know. They still could fucking ban us. They're being pussies. Uh... But hopefully they don't. Hopefully they don't. I'm just saying. <sighs> His beats are pretty cool, man. Joku! How's Vermont right now? What's the weather like? Anthony Timmons, where did you say you were at right now? Just tell me the state. You don't have to tell me the city, motherfucker. How's Vermont, Joku? How's the weather, motherfucker? It is Vermont where you're from, right? If I remember correctly. I kept checking all day to make sure the channel was still up, but I subbed to the backups. Nevada, oh my God, Timmins. It's probably hot as fuck over there, Timmins. God damn it. 82, you lucky bastard. Let me check what it is right now. Hey Google, what is the current temperature? It's 81 over here, Joku. It's just as warm. Fuck. 73 Timmins. Fuck Timmins. You have the better the better fucking weather, man. Lucky fucking guy. Uh, it's gonna get super hot next week, man. It's gonna be like in the hundreds over here. It's gonna really suck ass That's all I gotta say I, uh, I'm not looking forward to that at all uh. It's gonna be 98 tomorrow, so I hear. It's gonna get past the hundreds over here, man. It's gonna suck. Uh, that's all I know. Uh. I 
don't think they're gonna I think that's it for Comic Con. You think these nerds? Hey, you know what? Let's look for some. I'll show you guys some shit. Let's see, uh cosplay. Comic Con twenty twenty. My name is Deborah Utah. Alright, sorry about that. I had to stop all that shit from playing. Because when I pr play numbers, this shit happens. Oh, that's copywritten. That's Prince. I can't play that. That's cool, though. Alex Ross is playing. Putting that. I want to see people's cosplays. Y'all want to see some YouTube shit? You want to see some videos and see some cosplays? Some some bitches? <laughs> Y'all want to see some bitches? <laughs> it's been a while since we've done for the boys. I'll do it. Uh, let me go to YouTube. <laughs> my name is De my name is Deborah you taught nice accent you sound like Forrest Gump all right uh comic comic I love these videos man I can't wait to see these uh This is Japan, France, and Anime Expos. Okay. Hang on. Let me get a water for this. This is going to be good. Egg. And let me let my dog out to piss real quick. <laughs> this will be good, y'all. This will be good. I'll be right back. Kyla, do you need to pee? You don't need to pee? No? All right. He's going to get a water. All right, it's been a while since, since I've done this. Japan Expo in France. You want to see the Japan or you want me to find a Comic Con? Let me see if I can find uh, today. Here we go. All right, let me pause. Old Spice told Hang on. Give me a second. Uh, let me just fix this so that it's, you know, full screen to you guys and shit. Uh, I just got to do some quick editing of stuff. Uh, it shouldn't take me long. Your logo. Here it is. This one. I'll keep the music in the background so we don't get copywritten and shit. I think that should be okay. Here, we gotta watch this bullshit for a little bit. Alright, I just need to pause it there and, uh... I'll leave it like that so we can kind of see the, the widescreen of it. Uh, am I at, let me see. Okay, there's more to it. There's more to the screen. There we go. Now it's full screen. I won't play the sound because I'm sure the sound will get us copywritten. Let's see what these nerds are doing and shit. Let me take these off. Boop, 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 boop. Holy shit. <laughs> this chick is naked. That's badass, y'all.
Okay, this isn't. This is just following one person. Okay, no, no. I was looking for like the shit where they walk around and you see everybody. Oh, here it is. Here's one. This will be good. Oh, Jubilee, Agatha, some bullshit. Here, I'm gonna slow it down for us. Playback. We'll slow it down to half. Oh, that's still too fast. Okay, we're gonna slow it down really slow. Custom. All right, that's as slow as we can go. All right, let's see this shit. Oh, this is the competition. I like these. Uh, I'm seeing where where's the fucking? I can't see the chat. There you are. <laughs> Sydney Sweeney could talk. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. Sydney Sweeney is so fucking cute. She's hot and cute at the same time. That, that I guess it's because she's young. <laughs> it's so bad to say this. I guess it's because she's young that she's cute at the same time as being hot. But Sydney Sweeney is oh my god beyond anything I've ever seen, bro. She's on a whole nother level, this little girl. Who the fuck is this? No, 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 no. Let's get to the fucking costume. I'm gonna fast forward, you guys. Here we go. Right here. Oh! That's not bad. These are all homemade shits, man. I gotta always re remember that shit before I start judging them too bad. It's pretty good, man. It's a good Halloween costume. I'm not lying. <laughs> Damn! I don't know who this chick is, but that's pretty hot. <laughs> oh, shit! Her arm fucking opened. Oh, Black Storm. With fucking this guy from Wakanda, whatever his name was, and Namor. These motherfuckers. I mean, if I was gonna go up there like that shirtless, I would have worked out like non stop for the past two months. That's all I'm saying. That motherfucker looks like he didn't even try to work out. God damn it. It's very confusing. You feel bad for looking, but <laughs> they look they look so big. She knows she has big titties, Timmons. She likes it. Speaking of titties, look at this black widow that has no titties. <laughs> oh my god. No, you're not pulling it off. Holy shit, this is like this is like me trying to be Wolverine and shit. <laughs> and what is this? Is that Gambit? Oh, it's the woke Gambit. That's bullshit. The one from X-Men 97. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Captain Marvel, the lesbian, I guess. Jubilee, little fucking Asian. Oh, she's she's pretty thick. I like that. I like her. Oh, I like the fucking gloves, bro. That's creative. That's fucking good. That's good. I'll give her that, man. That's really good. That's creative as fuck. And man, fuck this guy. All he did was spray paint himself gold. Oh my god! Shut the- <laughs> They're going for the 60 for that shitty fucking movie version. <laughs> That's funny, bro. I like it. <laughs> Who's this? Magic? 
Raven? I don't know who this is supposed to be. This is not a Marvel character. <coughs> oh shit. What is he holding on to, Dick Cheese? What is this? Oh my god, that's a man! God damn it. Ah. Shut the fuck up, that's what he's supposed to be. Get out of here, get off the stage! Oh my god. <laughs> this is fucking stupid. All right, let's let's go look for let's look let's look for some real titties. <laughs> uh, Galaxy Con. Comic Con 2024. Cause play. Come on, bro. Give us the good stuff. They keep showing this Japan Expo. Oh, this one's this one's good. Oh, but this one's in Montreal, though. God damn it. I want to show the one for this week, man. I don't think anyone's made a video yet. But look, let's watch the Japan one and we'll compare it to the to the Canadian one. Bless the Japanese. God damn that she's not even Japanese. She's a fuck. Mm. Oh my god. Look, there's there's their fucking their so social media so you can follow them. She's 28 years old, fellas. She's old enough. Old enough to know what to do with that sword. Oh god damn it. <laughs> I love this! She's got no ass, though. She's just really tall looking. Oh, my Sailor Scouts, Sailor Moon. Damn, makeup, makeup does wonders, doesn't it? Oh, look at this! This is fucking nice! Oh, cheers to whatever this is, whoever this is. He's cute as fuck. I don't know who this is. Perfect Blue? From the anime Perfect Blue? It's been a while since I've seen it. I don't know this. Some of these girls look American. Did they go all the way to Japan just to fucking, like, be nerds? Damn, that looks crazy. That looks way better in American cosplay. Holy shit, this girl's a fucking goddess. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this girl, this girl doesn't give a fuck, huh? <laughs> Baby, you have no shame. God bless you. <laughs> uh, I guess. Whatever, little Japanese girl, go back home. Bring on the sluts. Who are these girls? 
No, nah, I will say you're right. The the costumes are really elaborate. All of their fucking They look legit. Unlike the American cosplayers that look like everything's made out of cardboard. This looks fucking fucking professional and shit. League of Legends. Meow. Super Saiyan Joku. <laughs> The fuck is this? Our Targaryen? <laughs> Game of Thrones. <laughs> oh, it's not me! And Sanji! That's badass from One Piece and Mihawk. Nah, it doesn't look like Mihawk. Oh, mean girls. That's what I'm talking about, boys. What is this, Sparkle? Eh, you get a pass just because he looks slutty. <laughs> Cinderella. You're in the wrong fucking Comic Con to say D23, bitch. Take your ass back to Disney. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> That's from One Piece. Yeah, it looks like her. She went all crazy with the face. Mm. I don't know what this is, but I like it. Oh, lesbianism. Chick is fucking tall. Oh shit, she looks badass. Oh yeah. All right, I've had enough of these Japanese. They're they're kind of embarrassing us. Let's see. Uh, <coughs> let's see what what else we can find here. <coughs> um, let's see. Uh, that's Japanese one. Oh wait. Let me put the filters. I did put the filters. No, they're not showing anything. This is Montreal. This is Canada. See what the Canadians bring to the table. Fuck you, Peacock. Damn. Oh, look at that woke as fuck motherfucker. That was from that uh, Hades game. <coughs> oh shit. This is already looking good, fellas. This is looking good. Oh yeah. Cheers. <laughs> Damn. That's scary. That's kind of scary too. Oh shit, that guy looks fucking ripped as fuck. Oh, Cusco, that guy wins. That guy wins for me. That's badass. <laughs> He's even doing the dance. <laughs> oh, that's fucking stupid ass game. Ah, oh, that's supposed to be Guillermo del Toro. Damn, the chick's not wearing any underpants. Fucking slut. What is that? Some Star Wars? Some bullshit. Yeah, 
Is that Halo? Yeah, I guess that's Halo. It's not Master Chief. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Pokemon. Oh, they're nurses. I get it. Damn, that fucking thick one. Those are some nice legs. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, Ellie. That's fucking dope. She looks like her, bro. She looks like the game. <laughs> Timmons, you're funny. Oh, look at that woke as fuck, motherfucker. From Hades. That's fucking badass. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's got it going on. Oh, shit, the little Asian girl. She don't give a fuck. She says, I'll show you my pussy. Uh. <laughs> some of these girls, man, I don't know how they're so brave to, <laughs> to wear some of this shit. Like, strippers don't even wear some of this stuff. <laughs> In public, you know, this is public. This is a public place. <laughs> Oh, fuck. It's a Pokemon guy. Bug catcher. He's a bug catcher. I don't know what she is. A black woman with a red dress on. She looks like Silent Hill's bunny. Oh shit, that chick is scary. You know what? That's the kind of chick I would take home for sure. <laughs> I don't know where they're from, but I, it's trippy as fuck. What? You little slut. Oh my god. Boba Fett. All the Boba Fats. Ah, oh, titties, titties everywhere, except for that guy. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Oh, Azula. Azula. Oh, Zuko by a girl. Is that a girl? It's like a little girl playing Zuko. Who's that? An old man? He's a little slut. God damn it. I feel like if I were to go to one of these things, I would just be like the dirty old man trying to pick up, <laughs> trying to pick up girls, dude. I'd be dressed like this too. I don't give a, who are you supposed to be? I'm the son of man. That's who I am, bitch. <laughs> oh my God. Is that a boy or a girl? I'm confused. I don't know, but I like it. <laughs> Oh my god. Thriller! Oh, so fuck yeah, I am Vigalian. Look at this fucking thick ass hottie. Hell yeah, I like that. Oh. I think her name was Ash Ash Asuka. Ahsoka. Asuka. I don't know who these guys are. My Hero Academia or some shit. Another little slut with ears. <laughs> oh, Master Roshi! I don't know why I didn't catch that Joku! Of course! It was Roshi! You caught that, you son of a bitch! I didn't catch it. I didn't fucking catch it. Uh, 
let's see, Montreal music, you know. Toronto. Momocon, what the fuck are all the then there's like every nerd fucking makes these Oh this one's gonna be good <laughs> I just saw the I just saw the fucking the picture this is gonna be good fellas <laughs> Hey bro Neo with the oh that was the hottest shredder I gotta go back dude that's the hottest shredder I've ever seen in my life. I would fuck the shit out of that shredder. Look at that. Oh, yeah, fellas. Oh, take me home, Master Shredder. That's all I got to say to that. Damn, that was badass. WonderCon in Anaheim, California. Damn, she looks sick. Is that Morph? Oh, that's the perfect sinister, bro. Oh, look at those little titties on, <laughs> on this lady. Oh, hip, hip, hips. When I dip, you dip, we dip. Oh, look at this fat Spider-Man. Tony Tobin, Tom Holland got fat. <laughs> yes. Oh, Supergirl is nice and thick, bro. That's a tall Scarlet Witch, motherfuckers. It's a pretty face, but she looks really fucking tall. Oh my god, god bless this lady. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Vampirella. You gotta love people that- those are the bravest people on Earth that dress up as Vampirella. Those, those people are just trying to get laid. They're freaks. They just want to have sex with as many people as they can. That that Comic Con or wherever convention. <laughs> oh, Electra. Oh yeah. Oh man. My 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 hair's too fucking white to dress up as anyone. I would just look like a pervert old man going over here trying to pick up women. Oh, fuck, man. But a lot of them, I'm telling you, man, a lot of these girls are just begging for it. <laughs> you don't dress like some of these characters if you're not looking to get laid. Oh, look at this thick-ass Barbie. Oh, yeah. I love it. I love it. My God, was that a man? Oh, my God. Who are these cheerleaders? Oh my god! Look at this Corella DeVille, motherfuckers! She's a stripper. There's no doubt about it. That chick strips for money. Uh, I don't know where that's from, but that's hot. I, I just, is that a guy? I think that's a guy. Oh... Is it Resident Evil? She's cute. She really is. Damn. She's probably a butterface. I could tell. I could tell she's a butterface. <laughs> oh, fuck. That's crazy. Five Nights at Freddy, I think, or whatever. That looks cool. I don't know what this is, but that's really elaborate. Oh, that's from Hercules. She looks like her, man. Hey, she damn, she's really skinny. <laughs> she's really skinny. I don't know why you're trying to be muscle, muscle woman. You bitch. Oh, I like me a Harley Quinn any day. A Catwoman too. She's thick too. The Riddler is not bad, not bad. That's a thick Catwoman. I like that. Oh, she better be black. 
Nembre, she's like Mexican or so. No, she's Asian. She like black face. That's not cool. Taylor Swift, that's hot as fuck. Oh yeah, I like that. Uh Disney Witches. Oh, that's lame. Trunks, that's super lame. You should have been white. <laughs> Jameson, that's good right there. Uh, that's 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 hot. I mean, I would I would definitely smash. Damn, that's sexy. For sure. Oh, that's from The Legend of Zelda. I'm such a nerd. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know what that is. Probably Disney, some ass. That looks cool, even though I don't know what the fuck that is. Power Rangers. Oh, that's the White Ranger. That's a Power Ranger villain. That was the worst trunks ever. You're right. Oh, the Gotham girls. Oh, Valkyrie. Thor Valkyrie, I guess. I don't know what that is, but those are some big titties. Oh, yeah. Some sharp teeth. Oh, this is the best. This took the cake right here. The two old men. Oh, fuck. That chick has a big ass. That Robin. Her. Oh, what? Sonic the Hedgehog or Shadow. Shadow the Hedgehog. Damn, these girls are. Fuck, these girls are hot. <laughs> <laughs> These little girls are amazing. God bless them. May all their dreams come true. <laughs> oh my god. This chick is skinny. Like, damn. Pokemon nurses, Pokemon cops. Oh my god. I love me the camel toll. Eh, average, typical, skinny. Come on now. No one gives a fuck about fairies. That's like old news. Give us some characters that we know. Dicker Bell. Ah. It's okay, it's okay. I'd still smash. Why not? <laughs> oh, brave. Damn. You know she's gay. Oh, Jessica Rabbit. I love me some Jessica Rabbit for sure, bro. Look at those curves. Oh, yeah. I caught that, baby. Damn. That's a cool cow. That's a good fucking... And her eyes are white. That's badass. Oh, that is a good Doctor Doom. That is a good costume. Comic accurate. It's good, 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 good. That's perfect. That's perfect too. Rangers. I don't know what this is. Oh, vampires or some ass. What? Oh, rogue, savage land rogue. <gasps> That's it. She took the cake by showing her ass. Kim Possible. <laughs> little Asian girl showing her ass. I gotta rewind that little Asian girl fucking took the cake there, bros. <laughs> that was hilarious. Fucking little Asian girl like, you know what? I may not let... <laughs> I can't wait. Let me get to that part. <laughs> she goes, you know what? I may not look like Rogue because I'm Asian, but get a look out of my ass. <laughs> She don't give a fuck, bro. She's getting laid tonight. Oh my god. Kim Possible. Oh, I forget what this is. Uh, Vampirello or some shit like that. I don't know. This hot as fuck. I don't know what this is. It looks familiar. Electro, but a girl. Shocker. 
a bunch of nerds a bunch of nerds who knows what the fuck they're playing <laughs> Harley Quinn Nice, nice. I like me Harley Quinn. Her teeth are a little yellow. <laughs> These assholes over here. What is that from? I don't know what that is. Oh, that's badass. Assassin's Creed. He's Ezio. Oh, that's so cool, bro. That looks good. That looks good. Uh, oh, Chainsaw Massacre, I guess. I don't know what this is. that is. Resident Evil. I guess it is Resident Evil. I like, uh, hella, hella, hella. Yeah, she's cute. She's cute. I'd smash. Oh, Rocket Raccoon, but that's kind of crazy because she's a furry. I don't like furries, man. She's beautiful. I don't know who she's supposed to be, but damn, that's a pretty woman. Mothra! Oh, yeah, I gotta give it up for those Asian motherfuckers. Love Godzilla. Thanks for watching. Fuck you, man. That was cool. Let me look for some 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 newer ones. Four hours ago, no, but that she's not she's not showing that. The motherfuckers that, that usually upload these videos, they haven't posted it yet. We watched this one already. Yeah. All these content, this next week, all the new content's probably gonna be uploaded. These motherfuckers. Good stuff, bros. Oh, but anyways, Timmins and Super Saiyan Joku, man, I do appreciate you guys for being here on the real. Uh, you know what it is, motherfuckers, for life. It's always going to be. Live. But I think I'm going to call it a night. I, I do have to go make some money tomorrow. Uh, we never rest. You know what it is. Y'all have a good night, man. And, uh,. I'll see you Friday next week on Saturday. We'll watch SummerSlam. I think it's SummerSlam. And uh, I'll give you the Discord. Anthony Timmons, if you have Discord, I'll post a video with the Discord link on Saturday. So we can watch it. I'll, I'll share my screen. And we can watch it with the sound. Uh, you don't sleep, Joku, motherfucker. I do. I gotta sleep, motherfucker. I gotta work. I work early tomorrow. Uh, but yeah, man. Y'all stay safe, motherfuckers. Joku! Hit me up with that shit we talked about. No pressure. If you, if you don't want to do it, just tell me no. But you know what I mean. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I love you guys. You guys are the shit, motherfuckers. Uh, but I'll catch you guys Friday. Keep an eye out for those videos during the week. Tell your friends about it and shit. And, uh, I haven't slept since 96. Ah, this fucking guy. I miss the 90s, bro. I miss them a lot. We'll get there again. We'll get to a time where people are not that serious. We'll get back there again. Send a man, we'll make it, make it go back there again. Cheers, guys. Take care, man. 
I'll see you guys. Take it easy.